what's up guys? Today is, I think it's, um, October the 15th. Yeah, October the 15th. It's already the middle of October, and, um, this month is going by. Before you know it, it's going to be Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, I went to a home goods store yesterday, or, no, it was Saturday, and they already had Christmas stuff out. I hate when they do that. I mean, Halloween hasn't even gotten here yet. But anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update on the going on at my work, um, what's been happening, and um, the big news that they're supposed to have, like at the beginning of October. I was on vacation on October the the first two days of October, I think, so I didn't get there until like the big announcement ends. Well, they have laid off about 1,500 people in Memphis. Um, Memphis is the hub. That's where FedEx started. That's where Fred Smith is from. He's the owner and CEO of uh, FedEx, and so far they've laid off like 1,500 people. They gave them severance packages, which would be comparable to like 13 months pay, which is nothing in this economy. And, um, you know, I guess if you were at close to retirement age, then that would be a good thing. But if you're like me and you're nowhere near retirement age, then that would not be a good thing. So that's what happened um, just here and at my job in Missouri. Um, they have just cut hours like a whole lot. Some people were getting like 40 and 50 hours a week. They're now getting 35 hours a week. So that's about what I'm getting. So, yeah. They are cutting hours considerably to keep from laying people off, and um, that's what's really going on. Um, there are still some more announcements that are supposed to be made. Maybe I'll know something else today, but I heard that um, FedEx Ground is doing awesome. Ground is the green and white. When you see the green and white trucks, they are ground, and they are considerably cheaper than Express. So they are doing great because people can't really afford to ship Express because, you know, it's next day service anywhere. And, um, and, you know, that costs money. If you want something to get to Canada from Mississippi tomorrow, then that's going to cost, you know, lots of money and fuel and gas. And so that's why it's so much. And then considering um, how heavy it is and how big it is, it's even more. So they're talking about just throwing more business to ground and freight. Freight is the blue and red trucks. They are the ones that handle all of the heavy freight that's over 160 pounds. And the dimensions are usually 48 by 48 by 48. So apparently they're doing well, good as well, that X freight. So they're going to um, just, they're closing up some of the small little centers and, um, you know, those people are kind of displaced. They have like 90 days to find another position within the company and if they can't find it, then they might just get laid off or fired. Um, and, you know, this is how bad it is. Just say, I, you know, I'm an administrative at my job, so if they laid if they close my center, well, if I couldn't find another administrative position in this area and all that they had were handler positions, if, you know, working on the belt, then I would have to go and work on the belt. And, you know, that's hard labor. I haven't done that since I was, like, in college. You know, I was 19 and 20, and I don't want to go back to doing that. So I would probably just go ahead and you know, resign or quit if that were the case. But so far, our office is staying open and um, we're just moving forward. You know, what can you do? My hope is not in FedEx. My hope is in God. It always has been. I am not afraid of losing my job. And um, I know there's a lot of people that I work with that are, their whole life is wrapped up in FedEx and that's sad. And I pray for them. You know, I tell them all the time, to, you know, put your trust and hope in God, not your job. So that's where I stand, and that's what's going on. And um, hopefully things will turn around with whoever gets in office um, in November, and the economy will boost. All we can do is hope and pray. 
But in the meantime, I am doing um, what I love to do, which is write. I've already sent a book off to the copyright um, department in Washington, and I called them, they received it, and they said I can go ahead and have the book illustrated and published. So that's what I'm working on. I, that's my j dream, that's my desire. I've always wanted to write children's books and have them sold, so that's what I'm working on. I've already written like eight, so it's kind of expensive to get them published when you're doing it yourself, so I'm just doing one at a time. So I'll let you guys know about that, and um, I think that's it. I'll try to vlog throughout the day. I don't know. I can't promise you that. It depends on how busy I get at work. But um, other than that, I'm doing great. I worked out today with my friend. We went to this class called Muscle Works, I think, and oh my gosh, I worked out muscles I didn't know I had. It was hard. It was like an hour of just hardcore muscle work. And... um came home and had a nice light breakfast and tried to take a nap but I couldn't my adrenaline was still going from working out and now I'm up and I'm watching some videos before I go to work um, I like to pray also before I go to work so I'll do that as well I'm actually watching Judy time I don't know if you can see her but uh, I'll try right here it's Judy time I just love her she does um, first impressions on a whole lot of makeup products and hair products. And and then she and her husband, they have their own little vlogging channel where they do vlogs. And right now she's expecting their first child. And, you know, we kind of went through her whole pregnancy with her. She's about to pop any day now. So that's what I'm doing. And um, comment below, guys, how your day is going. And if there's any layoffs at your job and just what's going on with your life. And I look forward to commenting back and hearing from you. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.